Hey dear and kids, happy Easter! I am so glad that you are here celebrating with us today that Jesus is alive. You know, this whole month we've been talking about hope. Believing that something good can come out of something bad. And you know what? This Easter story is the biggest story of hope, right? Because Jesus came to earth for us, took all of our sin upon him when he died upon the cross, but then Three days later, he rose from the dead and he is alive, which promises us eternal life with him in heaven one day. Amazing, right friends? Oh, so good. So that is why I'm so excited that you are here today listening to the Easter story and that you can know that Jesus can be your savior too. Now friends, our bottom line is this, whatever happens, remember that Jesus is alive. Whatever happens, remember Jesus is alive. You know, there's things in our life that happens that oh, it can seem kind of hopeless or just a bad outcome. You know what, friends? We can always remember that Jesus is alive and God has a bigger plan for us. Well, friends, I hope you enjoy the story today and I hope you are celebrating at home that Jesus is alive and I'll see you next week, okay? Bye, friends.
Hey, John. Oh! Hey, what? Hey! Oh! Oh! What are you doing here? Happy Easter. Yeah, happy Easter to you. What are you, what are you doing here so early? I'm, I'm doing a, a sunrise service. What? You know, at, at my church growing up on Easter Sunday, we'd always do a, a sunrise service. You, you get to church as the sun rises and, and you celebrate Jesus' <sighs> resurrection. Okay, okay. Well, what time does the sun rise? Uh, 7.04. Oh. Well, you, you do realize we're in my basement, right? We're inside. Underground? Mm-hmm. You do realize you're going to miss any sunrise? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Happy Easter! Oh. Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and happy Easter. Yes, happy Easter indeed. I am so excited, I mean it. It's Easter, Easter is huge. Yeah. It's, it's the big day, so we've got the biggest and best show ever. Ever. Ever, jelly bean relays. Easter egg painting. Chocolate bunny scavenger hunt. And a Bible story with Kellen. Oh yeah, 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 that too. So what are we waiting for? Let the Easter celebration begin. Woo! Okay, you've heard of painting eggs for Easter. Well, this Easter we're painting with eggs. That's right, we have our Easter eggs behind us as well as an assortment of paints. Woo! Uh, uh. We're gonna dip the eggs into the paint and then throw them at these two canvases to make some exceptional, exciting. Egg beautiful. Egg. It's not just adding egg to a word. Oh, that's egg ridiculous. <laughs> We're gonna make some art. Yeah, let's paint. Yeah, egg, egg paint. Oh, hey, nice. That works yeah, great. That works great. Oh, I love it with the yolk. I can't break an egg. <laughs> yeah, man, look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, okay. Mine looks really good. I don't even need any yellow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the egg stuck to the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nope. Now see, that's pretty cool. Which that's one? pretty cool. Mine? Yours, yeah, it's very like avant-garde. All right, almost. Wait, let's both go to mine. Okay, okay. Three, two, one. Nice. Hey, that was, good to that was really good. <laughs> How long have these eggs been outside? I don't know, a few weeks. Why? Ah, uh, I mean the smell. Yeah. Oof. What do they smell like? It's like, like a like a burning ball of cheese. I was gonna say like a comatose. Ostrich. Yeah. Ugh, it's disgusting, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's promise never to do this yeah, again. Yes, deal. Okay, uh, you know what? Next! Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So and so we of all ages, we present to you. The ultimate Easter race for all the jelly beans. Here's how it works. We have a giant bowl of jelly beans. And over on this side of the room, we have two empty cups labeled John and Brandon. Hey, that's our names. That's right. Awesome. Our mission, should we choose to accept it, is to fill our cups to the line with the jelly beans. But the trick is, we have to move the jelly beans with this spoon in our mouths the entire time. Whoever fills our cup first gets all the jelly beans. I accept. Ha ha, as do I. On your mark. Get set. <laughs> Go. Why did you trip? Oh yeah, like I didn't meant to do that on purpose. Did you? No. Yeah. Yeah. Well then, maybe my reaction was a little unnecessary. Well, maybe we should try to do something where we actually work together. Deal. Mm -hmm. Next. 
All right. Well, uh, let's be honest. Our biggest and best show ever uh, yeah, has been a little underwhelming so far. Yeah, but you know what? I think I think we're gonna end with something incredible. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! This with our gonna, chocolate bunny scavenger, scavenger hunt. hunt. Yeah. Be good. So we'll be given mysterious clues that we'll have to work together to solve. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if we can solve the puzzle correctly, it will lead us to a big surprise. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Come on, open it. Okay, okay, okay. Open Here it, it is. Open, open, this open, is open, our open, first open. clue. This is going to be tough. Ready? Ready? Yeah, Here we thinking. go. Got my thinking brain on. There's a chocolate bunny in your driveway. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. That's all it says. It's a chocolate bunny. Well, it's not much of a puzzle. Is no. It? Oh, no. Hey, chocolate bunny. Oh, yeah. Uh, Let's go. Let's go. Yay. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. You got it. Uh, woo. Oh, there's a chocolate bunny. There it is. <laughs> it's all been worth it. <laughs> all right. Open it, open it, open it. All right. All right. Ooh, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, oh. Oh. Unbelievable. It is unseasonably warm. This is the worst Easter ever. What are we gonna do now? I, I don't know. Bible story time with Kellen? Hey, Kellen. Yeah, hey. Happy Easter! Yeah. Sure, happy Easter. Whoa, hey, what's going on? It's Easter. Well, yeah, exactly. And Kellen, it's been a disaster. Melted chocolate, wasted jelly beans, smelly eggs. Yeah, but what about the Easter story? Oh, yeah. yeah, I guess we should do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's an amazing story. How God made something incredible out of something terrible when no one else could see it. You know, why don't you guys sit back and listen? It's all you, Kellen. Easter is an amazing story. A story of hope, a story of victory, a story of love. However, the beginning of the Easter story was really sad and a little scary. You see, Jesus had just spent the last three years of his life telling people about God, teaching people amazing things, healing the sick, and loving the poor and the outsider. But not everyone liked Jesus' message of hope and love for all people and they wanted to arrest Jesus. So late one evening, a group of soldiers came to arrest Jesus. But one of the hardest things was that Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, one of his 12 closest friends in the world, was the person who turned Jesus in to be arrested. When Judas arrived with the soldiers, Jesus asked them, Who do you want? Jesus of Nazareth. I am he. Jesus must have felt terrible. One of his best friends had betrayed him. Some of the disciples wanted to fight, but Jesus went peacefully. He was arrested and taken to one of the religious leaders to be questioned. But another one of Jesus' disciples, Peter, followed at a distance. While Jesus was being asked questions about what he taught, Peter was standing by a fire to keep warm. And some of the people asked if he followed Jesus. You aren't one of Jesus' disciples too, are you? I am not. And then a few moments later, someone else asked the same question. You aren't one of Jesus' disciples too, are you? And again, Peter said, I am not. And then a third time, someone asked. Didn't I see you with Jesus in the garden? No. <laughs> again, Jesus had a friend that abandoned him, denied even knowing who he was. After Jesus had been questioned by the religious leaders, he was taken to the Roman governor, a man named Pilate. The religious leaders asked Pilate to kill Jesus. Pilate was confused. He was trying to understand what Jesus had done that was so wrong. He said over and over again that he found Jesus innocent. But the mob continued to ask Pilate to kill him. Pilate said, Look, I am bringing Jesus out to you. I want to let you know that I find no basis for a charge against him. Crucify, Crucify him! him! Crucify, Crucify him! him! Pilate finally gave in to the mob and handed Jesus over to be crucified. Now, being crucified was a terrible thing. Jesus had already been beaten, and he had a crown of thorns put on his head. 
Jesus was then nailed to a cross and placed between two criminals, and he was crucified, executed. The soldiers, they divided up his clothes. He was mocked. Jesus felt like God had forgotten him. He hung there until there was a point where he lifted his head and he said, It is finished. After that, Jesus died. Jesus had gone from teaching thousands of people, giant crowds following him, being loved and adored by so many, to feeling abandoned by his followers, by his closest friends. He even felt abandoned by God. I bet that almost everyone thought that this was the end of the story. His followers had to feel incredibly helpless. In fact, we've probably all felt that way sometimes. Like nothing good could possibly happen. But this was the ultimate despair. And that's when something incredible happened. After Jesus had been buried and placed in a sealed tomb, Mary Magdalene, a follower of Jesus, went to the tomb and saw that it was empty. Mary Magdalene rushed back to tell some of the other disciples, and they came back with her and saw that it was empty. The other disciples left, and Mary was there alone, crying. Mary saw a man that she thought was the gardener, and he asked her, Why are you crying? Who are you looking for? Sir, did you carry him away? Tell me where you put him, then I will go and get him. But it wasn't just the gardener. It was Jesus. And Jesus simply said to her, Mary. Teacher. Jesus had risen from the dead. He told Mary to go tell the disciples what had happened. And she did. She told them Jesus was alive. Things had looked dark. Things were sad. But God had done the impossible. Jesus had overcome death. And that story is just as true as it was over 2,000 years ago. Jesus is constantly working in the world. And even when things are bleak, we can have hope. And that's why we can say, no matter what, Happy Easter, because Jesus is alive. What did you all think? I, I mean, it's pretty it, incredible. I, mean, I forget how hopeless it looked before Easter morning. Well, I think we all can learn to have hope even when things are tough. And it doesn't mean that you can't be sad or angry. Jesus' disciples were sad. Jesus was probably sad that he had to go through all that terrible stuff. But in the end, we can have hope. When we put our trust in Jesus, we can have a relationship with God that lasts forever. And that is some incredibly good news. It sure is. Yeah, thanks, Kellen. Hey, happy Easter, buddy. Happy Easter. I'll see you guys soon. An incredible story. Yeah. Easter means so much to so many people all around the world, and including all of you watching right now. In fact, <gasps> reveal, reveal the question. question. Hmm. What does Easter mean to you? Yeah, maybe it means time with family and fancy new shirts. Yeah, maybe it means Easter egg hunts and fun games. But Easter means so much more. It's a reminder that there is hope even when it seems like there isn't. Yeah, that there is a God that loves you. We can have hope because Jesus is alive. Yeah, so happy Easter. Yes, and we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. Woo! Woo! Wait, I'm running out, so I'm just I one at a time. I to pick it off of the table. Woo! Oh, yeah. Woo! Yay! That is actually kind of fun. Woo! 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 Oh! Where did that come from? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I think I inhaled it. Oh, you did? No, oh, boy.